Our lesson for today is all about the Cartesian coordinate system. In order to aid people locate specific cities and towns in maps, cartographers use letter and number grids. Mathematicians, on the other hand, use coordinates to locate specific points on a graph. Let's recall that the basic form of a mathematical graph is the number line. The arrows on both ends of the number line indicate that the line and the numbers extend infinitely in both directions. Early in the 70th century, René Descartes, a French mathematician and philosopher, used horizontal and vertical number lines drawn perpendicular to each other or to each other to divide a plane into four regions called the quadrants. The four regions, the quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4 are named in counterclockwise direction starting from the upper right-hand region. The two number lines are called the x-axis, which is the horizontal line, while the vertical line is called the y-axis. The plane that contains the x and y axis is called the coordinate plane. The point zero at which the number lines intersect is called the origin. The ordered pairs of numbers are used to locate points in a plane. The points are named with reference to the, to the two perpendicular number lines. The first number or coordinate of an ordered pair corresponds to a number on the x-axis. It is called the abscissa. The second number of the ordered pair corresponds to a number on the y-axis and it is called the ordinate. To grab a point A in the coordinate plane, let's start on the origin and move 5 units to the right. And then, let's move 4 units up. Therefore, the coordinate of our point A is 5 and 4. The two numbers, which is 5 and 4, paired with a given point are called the coordinates of that point. The number 5 is called the x-coordinate or the abscissa, and 4 is called the y-coordinate or the ordinate. Therefore, point A is named and written as point A with a coordinate of 5 and 4. It is important to name the coordinates of a point in order. This means that the point identified by 5 and 4 is different from the point identified by 4 and 5. It is for this reason that the coordinates of a point in a coordinate plane form an ordered pair. The origin is named as the ordered pair 0 and 0. So these are the two things that we need to remember. First, exactly one point in the plane is named by a given ordered pair of numbers. Second, exactly one ordered pair of numbers represents a given point in the plane. Now, let's take have an example. Let's determine the coordinates and the quadrant where the points A, B, and C are A, B, C, and D lie. For our point A, what is the coordinate of this? That's right. The coordinate of our point A is 5 and 2. And it is located in our first quadrant. And as you can see, the sign of the ordered pair in our first quadrant is positive and positive. Next, what is the coordinate of our point B? For our point B, it is 2 units to the left and 5 units up. It is in quadrant 2 and the coordinates are negative 2 and 5. And as you can see, the sign of, the, of our ordered pair in our second quadrant is negative and positive. Now, what is the coordinate of our point C?
the coordinate of our point C is negative 6 and negative 3. Point C is 6 units to the left and 3 units down. It is in quadrant 3. And as you can see, the sign of our ordered pair in our third quadrant is negative and negative. Now, what is the ordered pair or coordinate of our point D? For our point D, it is 4 units to the right and 4 units down. It is in quadrant 4. And the coordinates are 4 and negative 4. And as you can see, the sign of our coordinate in our fourth quadrant is positive and negative. Do you understand this example? Okay, so let's proceed to our second example. Let's grab each of the following points. For our point P, we have 3 and 5. Can you point out or can you point out where can we locate the coordinate of 3 and 5? For our point P, it is start at the origin of 0 and 0. Move 3 units to the right and then 5 units up. So therefore, that is our point P. Next point, where can we locate the, co the point of negative 5 and 4? Now, for point R, let's start at the origin which is 0 and 0. Move 5 units to the left and then 4 units up. And this is the point of our point R with the coordinate of negative 5 and positive 4. Next, where can we locate our point S with the coordinate of negative 3 and negative 5? Now, for our point S, it is start at the origin of 0 and 0. It is move 3 units to the left and 5 units down. So therefore, it is, this is the plot of our point S with the coordinate of negative 3 and negative 5. I hope you understand our two examples. Now, let's determine the quadrant and coordinates of the given points. For our point A, point A, what is the coordinate of this point? The answer is 3 and 5, and it is located in quadrant 1. Next, for point B, what is the coordinate of our point B? The answer is 7 and 6. And it is located also in quadrant 1. Next, for our, for our point C, what is the coordinate of our point C? The answer is 6 and 2. And it is located also in quadrant 1. Now, let's proceed to the point D. What is the coordinate of our point D? The answer is negative 5 and 6, and it is located in second quadrant. Next, what is the coordinate of our point E? The answer is negative 7 and 5, and it is also located in quadrant 2. Next, what is the coordinate of our point F? The answer is negative 4 and 2, and it is located also in quadrant 2. Next, what is the coordinate of our point G? The answer is negative 7 and negative 2, 
and it is located in quadrant 3. Next, what is the coordinate of our point H? The answer is negative 8 and negative 6, and it is located also in quadrant 3. Next, what is the coordinate of our point I? The answer is negative 4 and negative 7, and it is located also in quadrant 3. Next, what is the coordinate of our point J? The answer is 3 and negative 3, and it is located also, or sorry, it is located in quadrant 4. Next, what is the coordinate of our point K? The answer is 6 and negative 6, and it is located also in quadrant 4. And for our last point, what is the coordinate of our point L? The answer is 7 and negative 4. And it is located also in quadrant 4. I hope you understand our lesson for today, which is the Cartesian Coordinate System. Again, this is your family math teacher, Sir Wing Shello. Thank you for listening. Bye!